Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. You have a little boy over there. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, nice. He's and, he, and he likes the class. <laughs> <laughs> Le gusta estar acá, eh? But that's very nice. He can catch some some words and some structures, right? So he's learning. That's nice. Yeah. My 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 little my daughter oh, has yes. have uh, five years old. Oh, she's five years old. Nice. So, hi, what's her name? What's your name? What's your name? No. Tu nombre? Paola. Oh, hi, Paola. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Suli, have you been working on the platform? Ah. Uh, Yes, teacher, I finished. I finished. Did you get the certificate? Yes. Okay, great. Congratulations. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Tim. Good evening, Roberto Antonio. Oh, bye. Hi, good evening. How's it going? I'm fine, thanks. You? Pretty good. How was your day? Um, it's great uh, because I I have a meeting in Santa Ana, oh. and then cuando cómo decir cuando venía de regreso. When I was coming back. When I was coming back, I I take the lunch at Lago de Cuatepeque. Oh, this is great. Yeah, that's pretty nice, right? It's very relaxing to go and take some yes. food over there. Yeah, it's nice. Very yes. good. And how about the platform, Roberto? Um, I don't finish. Um, but I, 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 go in the lesson five point eight. Okay, very good. You're doing pretty well. We still have two days, so just remember to pick to keep on working, and well, we're doing fine. Okay. Yes. Very good. Good evening, Urania. Good evening, Miss Liling. How are you? Pretty good. And you? Fine. I'm tired, but I'm fine. Okay. Very nice. So did you get a new hairstyle? I see you, you look different. <laughs> yes? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it looks I nice. Went, I went to uh, beauty... Beauty, 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 salon? beauty salon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Excellent. You look nice. Yeah. And Sorry, I'm having trouble with the connection, I guess. So I couldn't hear you, Urania. Um,
Okay, good evening, Irma. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh -huh. Fine, things with cool. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> it's kind of cold. Is it raining over there? Yes, it's raining. Yeah. Uh, long, uh, little. A little, okay. A little, but it's cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of chilly, right? Okay, so um, tell me about the platform, Irma. Have you been working on it? Uh, yes, but I have a confusion this uh, this day. Uh, um, I want, I have been uh, to do a, a homework about Cristina Aguilera, but um, mm -hmm. but I have a, a problem because in the list of the, the activities, I see I saw the the night activities about uh, about her but in the in the list of choice is this only one to eight okay um did you did you complete it at the end or do you still have a doubt about it yes i have a doubt okay so maybe we could check it let me just go to the platform so do you remember what section it is in this one maybe Irma? yes this one. Okay, yes so let's check it So yeah, it's a reading exercise. It says read the article, then number these sentences from one to eight. One is the first okay. event and eight is the last one, okay? So, um, hmm. For example, she's seeing at the Winter Olympic game, and so. So we have options from eight to eight. eight. Just by the the list is a um, night. Don't say hi. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's check the answers to see if it's maybe they didn't take the first one into account. So the last one is, she wins a Grammy for Beautiful. Is that right? But they show the, the list, please, the box. The first. Sure. Um, I mean, yes. I heard somebody say. I'm at, yes, I, I'm at Edwin. In, in this uh, exercise, the confusion is because in the reading article uh, are nine options, but mm -hmm. in the answers only eight options. Mm -hmm. This is the confusion. Yeah. Yes. One, so two, let me three, open four, five, reading. and nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have Christina is born on December which is number one. And the last one, Christina wins the best female pop for beautiful. Mm -hmm. So yes, there's but, but the last one, but the last one is, is number nine. Yeah, exactly, you're right. The answer is yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so let me just tell the, the people in charge of the platform tomorrow and let's see what they say. Um, that is exercise yeah. 4.15. Um, déjenme entonces the reportar chart. eso porque sí, yes, hay un error. Eh, dígame. Es que, bueno, lo voy a decir en español porque es más rápido. Okay. 
Y lo que pasa es que ahí es de leer bien cabal todos los ítems, uh -huh. porque ahí hay algo que no se menciona. Entonces ahí, digamos, que dice The Winter Olympic Games, uh -huh. entonces ahí hay algo de lo que se menciona uh -huh. ahí que no está en la lectura. Entonces Exacto. eso se debe dejar en blanco. Es como cuando nos ponían los exámenes de paréntesis y sobraba un paréntesis. Sí, sí, exacto. Sí. Hay uno que no se menciona, sin embargo, está un poco confuso por el hecho está de que... Está confuso, por la, sí, entre la 8 y la Realmente si voy a dejar como el, la primera, no la tomo en cuenta, uh -huh. o uh -huh. sí, tienen razón. Entonces, uh -huh. Entonces déjenme... al final, al final, eh, James... Sí me estuvo ayudando y me dice, sí, hay que, hay que elegir una, hay que sacar una, pero yo quizás sí tuve la duda y dije, bueno, mejor pregunto. Y, y bueno, quedamos ahí con él porque eh, mejor preguntar, le digo, a la noche y a la, a la teacher a ver qué, qué sí, me claro, dice. Déjeme. Porque si sí hay una entre la 8 y la 9, porque en la letra C, en la letra C sí pregunta, entonces la respuesta es la última, es la del beautiful. Exacto. En la C. Ajá, she went to Grammy for Beautiful. Ajá, entonces, sí, si me voy a la, a la lista, es la número 9. Si sí. lo cuento de arriba para abajo, es la número 9, pero la número 9 no existe. Entonces, debería de ser la número 8, pero no está en el... Tiene razón, es que nos queda ahí una en medio. Entonces, eh, sí, es un poquito difícil saber cómo responder. Déjenme entonces hablar mañana con la persona encargada de la plataforma, a ver qué me dicen al respecto. Y pues igual, eh, dependiendo de lo que me respondan, tal vez podríamos desarrollarlo mañana juntos para que no haya ninguna discrepancia. Eh, y sí, sí, este, lo veo un poquito confuso, como les digo, no debería de ser sí, así. Y las Entonces, demás, las demás sí estaban, estaban bien, ¿verdad? Están claras, pero yo quería tener ahí como... Sí, sí, de... sí, tienes razón. Eh, sí, mañana yo les voy a tener una respuesta con respecto a esto. Entonces... All right, so good evening, Joel Beaches. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? Doing pretty well, thanks. Okay, that's good. <laughs> good evening, Norma. Hi, teacher. How's it going? Uh, I'm coming from the supermarket. Okay. With my daughter and my husband. All right. It's that's raining nice. uh, a little and it's very windy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's raining over here too. The weather is so, um, yeah, yeah, it's cold and rainy. It's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good evening, Freddie. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Everything's okay, it's okay right now. Excellent. How is life, teacher? No, not bad. Great. Okay, and Carol, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi. Great. How was yes. your day? Uh, it's very hard. Uh, it's very cool. Frío. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, yes. Um, uh, out, uh, out the office at um, 7 o'clock. Después que yeah. lo siga viendo. Págalo. Ponerle yeah. pausa yes. y después. Yes. So it was tiring. <coughs> yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So good evening, Betsaida. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am well, but I am very cold. <laughs> yes, right. We need some hot chocolate. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Betsaida, have you finished the work in the platform? Yes, I finished the platform. Okay, nice. Um, good evening, Sara Jacobo. Hi, Miss. Good evening. How are you? Um, I'm so tired. Tired. Okay. Yes. I was um, working um, 
hard, very hard. And I'm, and I'm wholesome and, and hard, cool. Me too. Yeah. I can imagine. And yes. How about the platform, Sara? Have you finished? Yes, I finished. I get I get my certificate. I complete the uh, one hundred for uh, how do you say percentage? Percent. Percent. Uh -huh. One hundred percent. Okay. I finish. Very good. Congratulations. Thank you, Miss. Good evening, Jamie Campos. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Pretty good. And you? I'm fine, too. Excellent. And the platform, Jamie, have you finished? Yes, I finished. Okay, great. Congratulations. Um, yes. Thank you. Good evening, Miguel Presa. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. Tell me about the platform. Are you done? No, I finished. Okay. Pretty well. Good evening, Marilyn Romero. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good evening. I am cold. Yeah, right. Okay, and what about you? I'm fine, thanks. How was your day? Okay, teacher. It was relaxed. Okay, that's nice. In the platform, yes. have you finished? Uh, yes, I finished it. You're done. Okay, yes. very nice. Thank you. Good teacher. evening, Ana Maria Turish. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Well, I'm doing pretty well. Thank you. So tell me about the platform, Ana Maria. Have you finished too? Uh, I almost done. Almost done. So you're in section I just have five to already. Finish. Yes, I just have a. Uh, to do the final exam. All right, very good. Good evening, Carlos Celaya. Good evening, teacher. How's it going? How are you? Uh, Pretty well, and you? Fine, teacher, fine, uh, many works. Oh, you have a lot of work. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, I, I home now. All right, that's pretty good. And the platform, mister? Yeah, finished, teacher. You're done. I, I have the certificate. You already got the certificate. Excellent. Congratulations. Yes. Okay, yes. so let's um, move to the work for today. So first of all, we are going to review the ING verbs. Remember that yesterday we talked a little bit about the present continuous. And the first thing that we need to make a present continuous sentence is an ING verb, right? So here I have a list of verbs. For example, the first one is sing. And what we are going to do is to just change that verb into the ING form by writing it in the chat. So I am going to give you a verb, then I'm going to select a person to write it in the chat using the ING. For example, sing becomes singing. Then you send it to the chat, right? Is it clear? Yes. Okay, so let's see Edwin. Go ahead and write the ING form for swimming, for swim. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, just with that one, Edwin, we use double M, swimming. 
Okay. Thank you. Marilyn, dance. Hi, teacher. Dance. Uh -huh. And the... In the ING form. Uh, you type okay. it in the chat. Dancing. Uh -huh. Dancing. Um, please type it in the chat. Lo puede enviar en el chat, please, Marilyn. Oh, okay. So don't worry. Let me just add it. It's okay. Thank you, Marilyn. Ana Maria, next one is for you. Getting. Very good. Yes, remember that we double the last consonant, which is T, right? So double T, get in. Next one, Miguel. And then we have um, sleep for Carlos. Miguel, you write the one for cut. Carlos, you work with sleep. Cutting. Yes, can you write it in the chat, please? Very good, Carlos. Sleeping. Roberto Antonio, draw. Freddy, do. Very good. We have doing and drawing. Urania, next one is for you. It is smoke. Irma, you work with the verb close. Sorry, teacher, for drawing is an exception. Double W. Um, yeah, it's only one W, okay? Drawing. Okay, and we have cutting, it takes double T, and closing. All right, Norma, write the ING form for practice. Joel Beaches, skate. Carol, you work with the verb ride. Okay, so we got skating, practicing, practicing. Here you are. Okay, next one, Betsaida. Ask. Very good, Carol. Writing. Mm -hmm. Betsaida, ask. Asking. Sara, climb. And Jamie Campos, enjoy. Very good, Sara, climbing. And the last one, Jamie. Enjoying. Okay, thank you. All right. 
So now that we have all the verbs in ing, we are going to choose five verbs and we are going to make some sentences. So for example, if you want to choose um, this one, dance, then you could write like, we're dancing in the party. We're dancing in the party. Then you want to make one with sleep. I'm sleeping at my mom's house and so on. So you choose five verbs and you make five sentences. Please just write them in your, in your notebook or some piece of paper you have over there. And then we are going to share the examples with each other, okay? Okay. 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 All right. Teacher. So okay, you teacher. have, um, let's say, two minutes. You got two minutes to write five sentences. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Are you done? Guys, did you finish? One moment. Okay. Please. All right. Okay, so we are going to start sharing. It doesn't matter if you didn't grade five. If you have two or three, it's all right, okay? So let's see, Suli Pineda, tell me about your examples. Can you read them, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, we are dancing in the party. You are, okay. you are swimming in the beach. Okay. Uh, my, my sister is, is singing a song. Okay. Uh, my, my father is drawing. Okay. Uh, um, only that. All right, that's nice. Thank you, Suli. Okay, teacher. Beside that, do we have some more examples? Um, Nayeli is asking about her chair. Mm -hmm. Maria is singing all in by Selena Gomez. And um, my friend is driving a person. Good job. Um, I have this. Okay, thank you, Betsaida. Sara Jacobo, can you share some sentences, please? Yes, um, you are reading in the bicycle. Mm -hmm. Riding. We are, uh, we are asking the address. Yep. She is enjoying in this moment. Um, I am singing in the karaoke. Okay. And I and I am practicing the English. Excellent. Thank you. Miguel Presa, do you have some more sentences? Okay. 
I draw in the plants. She is winning very fast. My son enjoying the class during the meet. And he is smoking much. Okay. Thank you, Miguel. Carol Rivera, can you tell us some more sentences? Yes. I then and dance with me. Dancing with me. Okay. And my yes. Yeah, his uh, his father. He is my no my father. He is sleeping. Okay. Um. Yes. Um. um only teacher. <laughs> okay. Very good. Okay. Brevi. Thank you. Share some more, please. Okay, teacher. I am practicing my English every night. Mm -hmm. And also... Oh, sorry, Fred. Let me just stop you over again. there. Um, that expression, every night, um, cannot be used um, in, the, in the present continuous. Because usually can really? we, when we use every, it's for a routine, right? For something habitual. So that would be better to better express with their simple present. Okay. Okay. All right. Continue, yes. please. And also, I'm getting better. I am getting better about my fluency. Okay. And okay. she's drawing every every night. Yeah, <laughs> there's a mistake, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's uh -huh. it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Freddy. Very good. Okay, so you got them well. That's the way you make some sentences with the present continuous, right? So always remember you need the verb be, then you need the verb in ing, right? So here I have some other um, prompts in order to practice. We are going to make sentences in the present continuous. For example, in number one, I have this information. I am wash the dishes. Can you make a sentence, Norma de Leon? Mm. Okay. I, I am eating. I am oh. using this information. Oh, oh. Sorry. Oh, she was drowning. Okay, so Norma, we have to use this information. I and wash the dishes. Make a sentence in the present continuous, please. Um, I um I am cleaning the house. Okay. Thank you, Norma. Let's see, Carol. Okay. Can you help me with this one? Number one. Yes, I washing the dish. I'm washing the dishes. I am washing the dishes. Excellent. Thank you, Carol. Okay. Thank you. Next one, Roberto. We we are does the homework. We are use the ing. We are doing. Ah, we are doing the homework. Thank you, Urania. I think the person. She is talking on the phone. She's talking on the phone. Thank you. Joel Beaches. You are writing a poem. You are writing a poem. Thanks. Irma. Irma Aguilar. He is playing basketball. Exactly. 
Thank you. Ana Maria Turish, number six. They are, they are doing exercise. Thank you, they are doing exercise. And let me just tell you about this one. So here we are using the verb do, but you can also just say exercising. So it could be like, they are doing exercise. Or it could also be used as they are exercising. They are exercising. So we have both options. Acá, si usted decide utilizar el verbo do, do exercise, doing exercise. Y si quiere utilizar solamente exercise, it's fine. You just make it ing. And that's it. They are exercising, they are doing exercise. Okay, next one, um, Suli. Oops. Number okay, seven. Teacher. Make the sentence. Uh, uh, is earring is food? Thank you. Very good. Betsaida, number eight. Okay, teacher. <laughs> They buying some fruits and vegetables. Thank you. They are buying some fruits and vegetables. Jamie Campos, number nine. It's raining. Exactly. Miguel Presa, number 10. We are traveling to travel. Sorry, we are traveling to New York. Okay, we are traveling to New York. Thank you. All right, so um, I see we're clear about how to make the sentences in the present continuous. Just keep it in mind. You use the verb be. Um, you could also use it in the contracted form, but you always need it, okay? So you always need a form of am, um, is, or are, and then the verb in the ing form. So now let's talk a little bit about the negative. We already know how to make affirmative sentences or statements, but now let's just review the negative. So the structure that we follow is this one. First of all, we need a subject. Then we add the verb be, um, is or are. Then we need the not. After that, the verb in ing, and then the complement and the period. So um, let's make some examples. The first one, you are not paying attention, let's say. Okay. Can you give me some more examples in the negative? She's not reading the newspaper in the living room. She's not reading the newspaper in the living room. Okay, another example, please. She's not watching TV. Is not watching TV. Thanks. Next one. She's not working today. Sorry, can you repeat it? I couldn't get it. She is not working today. He's not working today. Thanks. Another one, please. And I am not drawing in my computer. I am not drawing. Yes? Sorry, Edwin, can you repeat that, please? Yes, yes. Drawing yes, in my draw. computer, you said. Drawing, yes. Okay, excellent. Draw. And one last one. He's not eating hamburger. 
he is not eating a hamburger. Yes. Thank you. Okay, so here, as you see, um, the only thing that we need to add in order to make a negative sentence is the not. Where do we add it? We add it between the verb be and the ing verb, right? So you always need the verb be, then the not, then the ing verb. And also Teacher. notice if you can tell me. Uh, we can use, uh, for example, she isn't reading exactly. the newspaper. Oh. Yes. So yes, that's another way. Um, I was just going to mention this. So remember that you can use contractions. For example, in this case, she's not watching, right? So you have the complete form. She is not reading. But if you want to use a contraction, she's, it's fine. She's not watching. He's not working. And as you mentioned, you can also use isn't. She isn't um, drinking soda. She isn't drinking soda. So you have those possibilities or those options. Are we clear about this? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, so here I have an exercise for you to practice the negative. We're going to unscramble some sentences. All what you have to do is to put the sentences in the right order. For example, number one, what could it be? I am, I am not, not working, working today. today. Exactly, I am not working today. So that's what you have to do. You have to put the sentences in the right order. So for this, I am going to send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes. And you are going to work with together with your classmates. Um, if you want to write them down, that would be great. If not, um, you can just practice orally, okay? Okay. All right, so let me send you to the breakout, breakout rooms right now, and I'm going to send you a picture to the chat in the in WhatsApp, okay? There you are. The second one, uh, Urania, what do you think? That girl is not wearing sunglasses. Sunglass, sunglasses. That girl is not wearing sunglasses. For the girls, I think they are. They are not. They are it not soap. It, it is soap, okay. It is soap. And the next. Tupan is not going home. The four one. Uh, it is raining now. The, the five. <clears throat> A little bit difficult. The four, how, how is the four? Susan is not going home. It's not going home, okay. It's It is raining now. 
Pero eso no es tan yes. negativo, ¿verdad? No. Oh, you are no, right. No. Yeah, I didn't add the not. Can you add it, please? Okay. Yes. Okay. It is not raining. It is no. not raining now. Yes. The dog is not barking at the cats. Hay un montón de errores. Sí, yo terminé todo el examen, pero ahí encontré varios errores escritos ahí. Ajá, mucho. Y costaba, o sea, por una cosita a veces no lo agarraba y, y tenía que estar uno adivinando, adivinando. Sí. 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 Y eso de Cristina Aguilera, yo vi que estaban ahí un montón de mensajes. Yo por ahí les iba, les, les iba a mandar las respuestas, pero eh, me fue. Sí, es cierto. Eh. Adivinando, tocó contestar. Pero no me acuerdo cuál era esa respuesta. Era... Sí. Ten... Eh... De ar... No, no, de ar... No. The cats are playing with the wood. We are. Wool es como lana, creo yo. Wool lana. Yes, you're right. Ah, quizás como la. Ah, ok. Lana. Ah, ajá, ajá. Con la bola de, de lana. De lanita, ajá. ¿Cómo sería ahí? The cats are playing with the wool. The cats are playing. Teacher, are you there? Yes. I'm here. <laughs> In no. Uh, in number six, uh, it's the dog is not barking at the cat. Yes, exactly. It goes like that. Okay, okay. Apple, Apple finish. <laughs> you finished. <laughs> yes, did you? Yes. Excellent. So we're getting back in just a couple of seconds. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so we are going to check right now. Let's see number one, Sully. Um, I'm not, I'm not uh, working today. I am not working today, very good. Next one, Roberto Antonio. The... I'm sorry. The girl is not wearing some. Thank you. The girl is not wearing sunglasses. Yes. Next one. Let's see. Freddy. Number three. Yes. Um, they are not eating soup. Thank you. Edwin, number four. Susan is not going home. Thank you. Marilyn, number five. Okay, is it not raining now? It is not raining now, thank you. Sara. Next one. Um, a, teacher, acá yo tenía la duda haciendo la traducción. Si era los perros no le ladran a los gatos o los gatos no le ladran a los perros. Algo así tenía esa, esa duda con... Ok. Um, no recuerdo con quién estaba conversando. Teníamos esa duda. All right. So it starts with the dog. Ok. Ah, ok. The dog is... Is not barking the cats. 
Yes, the dog is not barking at the cats. Thank you, Sara. Okay. And then here, uh, well, we choose the dog because we are using is, right? If we were talking about the cats, that would be the cats are. And also the word barking refers to dogs. That is woof woof, right? So that is barking. In the case of cats, they meow, okay? Mm -hmm. ah, okay. That would be a difference. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Um, let's see who hasn't participated. Joel Beaches. We are not taking photos. Thank you. Betsaida, next one. Joel is not playing the piano. Okay, great. Carlos Celaya. Children are not, are not swimming in the pool. They are not swimming in the pool. Thank you. And Miguel Presa, the last one. Miguel. Okay, how about Ana Maria? The cats are not playing with the wool. Excellent. Do you understand the meaning of wool? Lana. Lana. Exactly. Yes. Lana. Lana. Okay, so now we are going to continue practicing the negative and the affirmative by um, playing a memory game. So how does it go? You have to be paying attention because um, it's going to go like this. For example, I say a sentence like I am playing soccer. I am playing soccer. Then let's suppose that it's Irma's turn. So Irma says the same sentence, but in the negative. I am not playing soccer. And then she adds another sentence, but I am, but I am cooking the dinner. Then the next person has to repeat what Irma said, but in the negative and add some more information. Are we clear about what we are going to do? Yes. Yes? Okay, let's give it a try then. So, Joel Beaches, I'm drinking coffee. I'm not drinking coffee, but I'm eating dinner. Very good. Edwin? I am not eating dinner, but I taking my breakfast. Okay, Ana Maria. Hey, I'm not taking breakfast, but I'm studying English. Very good, Carlos. I am not cookie for dinner, but I am a play soccer. Um, sorry, Ana Maria, what did you say? I am studying English. Studying English. So that's what you have to say, it's Carlos. Saying... Just make it negative. But negative, I, I am not studying soccer. Um, you repeat, remember that you repeat you, what your classmate said, but in the negative. Repetimos lo que acaba de decir la compañera en el negativo uh, okay. y luego agrega su oración, ¿ok? Listen. Ok, so one more time, Ana María, please. Eh, 
I am not taking breakfast, but I am studying English. Thank you. I am not uh, studying English. Yes. But but I am uh, play soccer. Very good, Carlos. Betsaida, your turn. I am not play soccer, mm -hmm. but I am. Um, Learn Korean. <laughs> Can you repeat it, please? I am not play soccer, but I am learn Korean. I am learning Korean. Okay, thank learning. you, Betsaida. Roberto, go ahead. I am not learn Korean, but I am, I am swimming. Okay, thanks Roberto. Irma, continue. I am not swimming because I have cold, but I am uh, drinking a tea. Okay, <laughs> you're drinking tea. Urania. I am not drinking a tea, but I'm eat pizza. I'm eating pizza. Eating, eating pizza. Okay, thank you. Freddy? Okay, I am not losing my time, but I am trying to reach all of my aims. Um, okay, but can you repeat what Urania said? Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, you have to repeat what your classmate said. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Urania, can you repeat it, please? Okay. I am not drinking a tea, but I'm eating pizza. Okay. Now, Freddy, okay, go I'm, ahead. I'm going to say the opposite. I'm exactly. Going to say the opposite, you make right? it negative? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I am, I am not drinking tea, but I, I am not eating pizza. I don't know. Uh, you say, I am not eating pizza, and then you add your sentence. But I am drinking tea. No, but I, I mean, not. you have to add a different sentence at the end. So you only repeat the last part of what your classmate said, and then you add your mm. own sentence. Ah. Oh. Okay, I am eating pizza, but I, but I am adding sauce. You are? I am adding. Adding. Sauce. Sorry, mm -hmm. couldn't get that. Can you say it again? Okay. I am eating pizza, but I am adding sauce, salsa. Adding sauce. Adding sauce. the agregar, right? Mm -hmm. Adding sauce, okay. Great. Okay. Edwin, go ahead. I am not adding sauce, mm -hmm. but I am dancing yes. tango. Tango, okay. Carlos, Carlos Elaya. <clears throat> I'm not dance uh, tango, mm -hmm. but I am um, play basketball. Playing basketball. Okay. Carol Rivera. Carol? Yes, I am not playing basketball, but I am uh, listening to music. Listening to music. Okay. Listening to music, yes. Ana Maria. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not listening music. Listening to music, okay. Listen to me, listening to music, but I'm uh, drinking water. Drinking water, okay. Betsaida. <clears throat> I am not drink, drink, drinking mm -hmm. water, but I'm listening to music. Listening to music. Okay, yes. Marilyn, have you participated? Yes, teacher. You have, um, okay. I so I think. Music. Mm -hmm. Continue. But I, I am cooking the dinner. I'm cooking the dinner. All right, excellent. Yes. So that would be it for today's class. Do we have any question? Any doubt? Not really? Not teacher. Okay, Not so teacher. thanks for your attention. Take care and have a good night. Sleep well. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.